talk about that. No, I won't tell about that. I know that. I know that. <laughs> I know that. So I know what we do here. Yeah, right. okay. We talk about everything else we yes, can do right. about the swine flu or right. the H1N1. Mm -hmm. That's the flu, the flu virus that's got everybody worried for this winter. Because it came around in about May. Yeah. And it was looked, we got really worried in May, and it, and it was it definitely um, has killed people. And of course, yeah, the flu always kills yeah. people. Um, so we had a whole flurry of activity in May. What are they on? We don't think so, but we're all getting prepared like crazy. I don't know. Well, you're going to win. That's no yeah. problem. So the thing that's real important to know, and if people are, you know, watching us at home. If you're if people have a fever and a cough, those are the two signs, and it's a relatively low fever, fever of just 100 degrees, um, you got to think that you might have this flu, okay? And the most important things are rest and fluids. There is a medicine that can combat it. There will be the vaccine that can prevent it. But one of the, the things that we're really hammering with people, really, really trying to get across is cover your cough. No more coughing like this into your hand and then smearing it everywhere, okay? The whole deal is cough into your elbow like that. In preschool, it's called the elephant cough. You're coughing like this. If you get any of your cough on your hands, use a Kleenex. Clean yourself off, put that in the trash, wash your hands, don't touch your face and mouth, okay? If somebody is sick, it's important for them to stay home, okay? Because we don't want people coughing with the swine flu or the H1N1. We don't want you in movie theaters. We don't want you on planes, in grocery stores, in classrooms, you know? You need to stay home until you feel well. So that's probably the biggest. If we had to get one message out, it's cover your cough. You wash your hands. That's good. Yeah. 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 Well, the vaccine we think is probably going to be out in late October, early November. Um, and it's going to be a two-step vaccine. So it's going to be you get one shot, and then you get the next shot of the swine flu, the H1N1 about a month later. Now the regular flu shot is also coming out, and it's important to get that one too. Okay, so it's going to be, if you do it all, it's going to be three flu shots this fall. Regular flu and two for the H1N1. So it's going to be intense. You may need them. I know. We've had our talk about this. Mm -hmm. I know. But that's why it's so important to know what to look for, mm -hmm. okay, and do that what they call social distancing. Mm -hmm. In the social setting, distance yourself from other people. That's if you've got people at church, they're not coughing. That's true. You know, you really need to ask them to stay home. They need to stay home. Yeah. That's right. And <laughs> pregnant women are, are, are at risk. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't know that they uh, I don't know if people are going to walk with somebody and take their hand or whatever. Their hand might be full of that too. Their hand and might they be. Won't, that's what I mean. Yeah, and exactly. They, they try to hug you <laughs> and they know that they're coughing. They yeah. know they got these symptoms. So, you know, I don't know how to hug and kiss them, but I think this. Yeah. 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 So it's, I mean, I think there's a lot of media coverage making it really, 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 really scary. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly mm -hmm. a lot that we're preparing for. I mean, it would be it would be really silly not to get prepared. Um, and we just can't predict how bad it's going to be. But I think it's important to you know, stay calm, do the plain, simple things that you can do, like wash your hands. You sound like a mom as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a mom stuff that's going to do a lot <laughs> for <laughs> That's right. My grandfather was married with his mother. He was married. I washed my hands. I go wash them again. Uh-huh. I washed my hands. I washed my hands. I washed my hands. I washed them again. Mm -hmm. But you can't mm -hmm. wash your hands too much. 